One of my favorite Revit commands is the camera view. Now the camera view is exactly what it sounds like. You're holding a camera and you're taking a picture of your building. And when you do this, you'll be able to see what that picture would look like if you were standing at that spot at your construction site. In this case, we're going to place three separate cameras inside of our building. The first spot where we want to place a camera will be out here and we'll be taking a shot of our building looking in this direction. The second spot we'll take a picture from will be inside of the building and we'll take a look at the walls and the doors and the windows, anything that might show up inside of that particular view. Then we'll create another camera view that will be on the outside of our building and we'll be looking straight up the wall so we get a feel for what the building will look like as we're approaching it and we're getting very close to entering through the front doors. To begin, come underneath the View tab on the ribbon, over here to 3D View, and select on the word Camera. When you do this, you'll get a little camera icon, and that'll follow your mouse around on the screen. We need to look underneath the Options bar, where it says Offset Distance. And this case is going to be standing at the 5 foot 6 inch elevation mark with the camera. So that's where we'll be holding the camera in our hands, is 5 foot 6 inches off of the ground and you can adjust that if you want to. Also, where we're going to take the picture from is going to be level one, but I will point out that we can use any of the levels that are currently designated in our plan, so we could be standing on the second floor, the third floor, up on the top floor, and surveying our building from that particular elevation or from that location. Here though, I want to be on level one, stand out here at the outside of my site, and then click once in order to place the camera. Now move your mouse in the general direction of your building. The important thing here is making sure that your entire building is inside of this triangular cone that's showing up as you're moving your mouse around. If you would stop it short, all you'll get is that little corner or the outside of your building. But anything that shows up inside of the cone will show up inside of your picture. So by clicking way out here, we'll get a picture that goes way out to the outer extents of our building. And we can see everything that we'd be able to take a picture of from that spot looking in that direction. Now let's take a look at this with a little bit of color associated with it. On the bar going across the bottom, there's an option called Visual Style. Select on the Visual Style button and change that to Shaded. This is going to add color to our glass. Give our masonry units here on our interior walls that gray color that they're supposed to have. Now, let's take a look at this kind of view from the interior. Once again, we want to click here on this X up in the corner and then place a camera looking from here over in this direction. So, underneath the View tab, 3D View, select on Camera. Click once, do your cone, and then click somewhere in this general area. It doesn't have to be exactly where I'm clicking, but out here toward the outside of your building. When you do this, you'll see your different curtain walls that are on the inside, the doors, some of the walls that are expanding up multiple floors, as well as different columns that are available there. And if we want to see this in color, once again, we can come down, select on the box, change the shaded, and see the different colors for the interior of our building. This is going to come into play, especially when we start dropping in our floors and our ceilings. This will allow us to envision the way that the floors, the ceilings, the lights, everything that we design is going to look inside of our structure. Now we need to create one more view, so come out here to the outside and click on the X. Something you may have noticed is that those previous two cameras, the one we placed over here and the one that we did here inside of the building, are no longer showing up. If we want to see those cameras again so we have a better idea as to where we're taking the pictures from, or maybe we even need to adjust those cameras after the fact, move over here underneath the project browser, select on one of these 3D views. In this case, I'm selecting on 3D view 2, which will be the camera here in this location on the interior of the building. Right click when it's just been selected on once and select on show camera. Then if we needed to move this camera, you could just click on it and drag it to whichever location you'd like it to be at. But I like it where it was at, so I'm just going to let go right back at the spot where it was sitting at before. Now let's create that one more 3D view. 3D views and camera. Stand somewhere in this area and click. What we want to do is look straight up. But the easiest way to do this is to place our cone first and then tell it that we want to look straight up afterwards. Move your cone out in this direction and then click once you get to the other side of the building. Now we're just looking through the wall. 
Instead though, we want to point the camera up toward wherever the roof is at. So to accomplish that, we need to come underneath the properties, and with this outline still highlighted in blue, that means that we're looking now at the properties of our camera view. The eye elevation is where we were standing with the camera. That was the five foot six I pointed here on the options bar. The target elevation is where we've been clicking whenever we've placed that cone. So the middle of that cone, that's where the target elevation is currently located at. Well, I'd like that target elevation to be way up in the air. So let's create a extremely high target elevation. In this case, 300 feet should do it and select on apply. By doing this, we're now looking 300 feet straight up in the air. We can see now what the exterior of our curtain wall is gonna look like if we're standing down near the base, down where the doors are at the front of our building. And of course, by coming down to the visual style, you can change this to be shaded so that you can see the different colors of the glass as well as the current color of the mullions. So cameras are used as a design tool to be able to visualize either the exterior of the building or the interior of the buildings. This will aid us when we're going through the design process to be able to see whether or not we have our floor material the way that we like it, our ceilings in the right locations, our light fixtures located in the proper spots so that the design looks complete and looks natural and looks the way that we want it to be.